And uh, anyway, this song is about a, a gentleman that I met very briefly on a road trip from Geelong over to Adelaide and I was stopped when I got there with my friend and we were stopped at the front of a house, a friend's house, and the young man from next door, mid-twenties maybe, very furtive, hands in pockets, eyes downcast, hoodie on, approached us at the car and asked us if we'd uh, seen anybody coming out of the house next door, which we hadn't, but he revealed to us that he was waiting for his girlfriend, who he feared was having an affair. And he told us that she bought a 700, no, sorry, he'd bought her a $700 red dress. And uh, she'd worn it to the races that day. And he followed her to the races and lost her in the crowd. It was all very odd and random. Anyway, my friend was back at that house the next day and there was a knock on the door and it was the police. And as it turns out, that gentleman, after we'd spoken to him, he'd gone back into his house waited for his girlfriend to get home, killed her, strangled her, and then thrown himself in front of a train. Yes. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> and on a lighter note. <laughs> anyway, this is the song that I wrote about that. Running through his veins With the heady swirl 
of guilt and rage and anguish In the blinding stab of conscience through the haze Well, is it too late now, too late for baby, please forgive me Yes, I'm home.